25 years old, Boren is 29. Boren, the taller man by one inch, but Cheeto Vera will have a one and a half inch reach advantage. All right, now for the introductions, we go inside to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a grappler holding a professional record, 10 wins, five losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 135 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Beijing, China, Beastmaster Uli G. Buran. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a grappler holding a professional record, 10 wins, 5 losses, 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 and 1 half pounds, fighting out of Charlie Manavi, Ecuador, Marlon Chito Vera! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Frank Trigg. How about old friend Frank Trigg in there? That is crazy to see him in there. <laughs> the lovely Chrissy Blair getting us started for round one. I do want to say off the top tonight, it's been a happy two months for the Vera family. As many of our fans know, Cheeto's daughter, Anna Paula, was born in 2011, and she was born without the ability to smile. Ready? She has since Ready? undergone a procedure Ready? whereby they take a muscle from another part of her body, put it in her face, and at seven years old, he was able to see his daughter smile for the first time a couple weeks ago. So wow. that seemingly is in the rearview mirror now for Cheeto, and the mission continues tonight here in LA. That's amazing. That is an unbelievable story. So happy for him and his family. Vera's in blue, Waligi Buran is in the gray. Cheeto also has a son, Jose, who's three, and his daughter is pregnant as well. He's going to have three kids before 26 years old. DC sounds like a handful. That's very early to be having those kids. And, and I remember Cheeto from the Ultimate Fighter Latin America the first season. And I remember we did that a while ago. How old was he when he was on the show? I mean, he's only 25 years old now right. with nine fights in the UFC. Keep up, keep up, keep it up. Both fighters with a lot of grappling chops. It'll be very interesting if this fight eventually hits the mat to see how it plays out. Cheeto, the really guy who stays fight ready 365 days a year. He says he eats like an athlete all year long, and that is what allowed him to accept this opportunity tonight. It was about 155 pounds when the call came in and made the weight with relative ease as usual. And Vera keeps switching stances. He constantly switches stances, giving uh, Boren a, a different look over and over again, not allowing him to get a beat on where he's going. He's got to be fair. And because of those stance switches, those high kicks are a little bit harder to recognize because you don't know exactly what angle they're coming from. That one could have landed, but he fell. Buren usually at his best when he is moving forward, has a very big right hand. The fighters exchange kicks as we come up on three minutes to go here in round one of a possible three. Buren has done a good job with his kicks. He's thrown a few right high kicks, landed a couple good body kicks, got Vera going backwards, which is his typical fight style. Oh. That's a good right hand right there. Very good right hand by Buren. Cheeto shoots. Nice defense. Nice takedown defense by Burn. Now he's got him in the front headlock. I mean, that right hand landed square. Oh, nice elbow. Cheeto talked a lot this week about that Burn right hand, and he certainly respected that weapon of his opponent. Burn's really pressing the action in this first round. I mean, Cheeto's uh, countering well, and he's moving well, but. Burren is keeping that pressure on him. Well, and I think to your point, as he was walking, there's just a different comfortability with which he's fighting than one we saw in Shanghai last November. And, you know, Chino has to be very careful throwing that lead left hook. He's opening himself up for the right hand straight that Burren's throwing. He's trying to lead with that left hook, and Burren's doing a good job of timing the right hand down the middle. And Chino landed a good left there, and Burren was calling him on. And he's really making it well known that he wants to brawl. Right. I mean, he wants this to be a good exchange. And there's a nice left by Cheeto again and a good yep. kick to the body. Check that one. Oh, there's another nice left hand by Cheeto. That one stunned him. 
Burns backing up now. He felt that one. You can see that redness around the right eye. Right away. See the picture in terms of the total strikes. Buren has been the more active guy. Vera slightly more accurate to this one. Him up. Sometimes fighters will fire out misinformation during fight week, but Buren told me directly, I gotta close the distance and take the fight to the ground. Early on, he has chosen to strike. Buren's doing a really good job with his underhook. In that 50-50 position, you see him kind of dropping level and lifting the underhook. It's creating an angle now. He's almost on the side of of Tito Vera already with little, little small actions. He's not trying to just throw it's by. Here with the He's just going over and over, little short actions towards his left. Watch here. Throwing a lot of knees from that position too. Look at that, little short elbow action. See those little, little re-grabs he's doing with his left hand, allowing him to get an angle on Vera. Look to finish, guys, let's go. Oh, nice inside trip there. Oh, that was nice. That was a good misdirection. He was going left, going left, going left, and he came inside out trip with his left leg. Good transition by Boren. And seemingly a useful takedown for Boren towards the end of a round. That was real close. Looks like he has a cut, though, on the back of his head of some kind that we'll take a look at here in between rounds. Five minutes in the camp. When you see a cut in the back of the head, it's like, well, how do you, how do you get hit behind the, the head? From the bottom. Mm. Oh, there's a nice Cheeto leg kick here. And then there's a nice right hand by Buren. And that was the one that really stunned Cheeto. And that's a nice elbow over the top as well. And here Cheeto came back with the left hand. Remember, the shot doesn't work. Rise up, hit him again. But we got to put some strikes on him this round, right? You're in good shape. You're the better fighter, man. Bring the numbers. Put the pressure. Bring the numbers. He's going to try and pin you to the fence, man. It's his only chance he got, right? So we need some footwork, yeah? Yeah. Work behind the jab and the push kick. Let the hands go, man. He cannot, this guy can't see your hands, right? Pressure him with your footwork, Cheeto. Pressure him with your footwork. There's a nasty gash on the top of the head of Buren. <clears throat> yeah, no cut, man, right? Because it wasn't, on, in, the, uh, it wasn't in the normal spot. It was in the hair. Yeah. They didn't have a... a